Philippines Eco Tourism 2019. And we welcome you to Lago de Oro as we present to you the delegates competing to the Miss Earth 2019 Swimsuit Competition. For the welcoming remarks, may we call on the EVP General Manager of Lago de Oro, Mr. Rene Edi Manduku. Give him a round of applause, Mr. Rene Edi Manduku. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. To all the candidates of Miss Earth, to Vivi Bawa in Karatna, to all guests, to all uh, staff, to all uh, sponsors, and to all uh, organizers and committee members, we welcome you to Lago de Oro family. Mabuhay! delegates from across the world made their way to the country with hopes to be a part of the global movement to save the earth and of course to be the next beauty for a cause. Are you all excited to meet the delegates? We all are, aren't we? And once you see them up close, you will agree with me when I say that 2019 will go down the history of Miss Earth as one of the years with the most competitive delegates. 2019 is another exciting year for Miss Earth because not only is the pageant paying tribute to the lovely flowers each country is known for, but more importantly, Miss Earth promotes the Me and My Tree campaign, which is aimed at encouraging people from all walks of life to plant trees in their areas or surroundings. This is in light of the tragic environmental calamities we've seen happening in different parts of the world, and the simple acts of planting trees even in your own backyard can do a huge difference. In fact, this year's batch of delegates have planted their own trees. And you can only imagine its effects of millions of people worldwide will follow suit. So to everyone here today, we also encourage you to join the campaign. Kudos to the delegates who joined the Me and My Tree bandwagon, and kudos to the organization that has been continuously making in a difference in the world we live in through beauty pageants. We are referring to no less than Carousel Productions, headed by its president, Mr. Ramon Monzon, Executive Vice President, Ms. Lorraine Schock, and Vice President and Project Director, Ms. Pichi Benarachon. We'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the following for making the 19th edition of Miss Earth possible. Our sponsors, our official hotels in Manila, Diamond Hotel Philippines, Century Park Hotel Manila, Joy Moscow's Hotel and Suites, our official bus transport, Viking Car Rentals, our official airport transfer, Pacific Blue Transport. Our other sponsors, Bindang Rikiri's Chain of Salons, the official makeup artist and hairstylist, Coco Life, Freedom to Live Your Life, the official insurance provider, Miss Earth Foundation, Kinko Travel and Tours, and special thanks to Mr. Dexter Villanin, the president and CEO of D.B. Bower Farm International Corporation, also to Lago de Oro, to Mr. Andre Tanjar, the president for our venue today. And now, uh, please allow me to introduce to you our panel of judges. Judges, if you can please stand um, so you'd be recognized when I call your name. First up, Brigadier General Kit V. Teofilo, a former brigade commander, 23rd Brigade, currently the assistant division commander of the 2nd Infantry Jungle Fighter Division. Next up, we have Mayor Reynaldo Rilio of the Municipality of Maragondon, Cavite. The third judge is Ms. Banalyn Villanin, the representative of D.V. Bomer Farm International Corporation. Attorney Cesar Bigornia, the country representative of the Condotel Management Australia. Ms. Sandy Santos, the owner of Farm Cradle International Incorporated. Ms. Joyce Houghton, the Managing Director of Marine Livelihood and Conservation. And last but not the least, Mr. Jose Antonio Larauri, the previous owner of Lago de Oro. And now, are we ready to see our beautiful candidates ramp 
up on stage in their swimsuits. Okay, so now we're calling on our first batch of delegates that will be walking in their swimsuit in this night's swimsuit competition. I'm 25 years old. I'm representing one of the beautiful cultural and historical country Armenia. My national flower is Nufar. Nufar grows on the, only on the fresh water. My advocacy is today to save the fresh water as much as we can for ourselves, for our next generation, also for our nature. Thank you very much. Armenia, I'm here. in Australia and the resilience that we go through through harsh conditions like drought and extreme heat. To quote Whitney Houston, I believe that children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. That is my advocacy. I want to use my experience as a singing teacher, children's entertainer and actress to be able to teach children about proper waste management, planting more trees and loving the environment through song, dance, and storytelling. Salam Akol. Day by day, we must find a way to 
repeat, recycle, respect, reduce and reuse all the materials we can so we can protect our environment. Salamat po. Bonjour tout le monde, my name is Matea Henderson and I'm your Miss Earth Canada. Ironically enough, Canada doesn't actually have a national flower, but we are known internationally for our red maple leaf. Some of the medicinal properties are it actually helps with neuroinflammation when it comes to Alzheimer's, and it also helps it re regulates blood sugar for diabetic and pre-diabetic individuals. My 2019 advocacy is to continue the freshwater conservation conversation globally. I come from a country that accounts for 20% of the world's fresh water, yet over two-thirds of the world's population experience extreme water scarcity for at least one month of the year. That's over four billion people. I'm challenging everyone to use the hashtag thirst for change to share your freshwater stories. The good, the bad, the ugly. I want to hear it all. If we don't understand the bigger picture of all of our issues, we are going to come to an international conclusion of how to save this natural resource. Thank you. a tribute to the Queen of Denmark and is now worn by children and adults and it's even representing the most gorgeous roads we have in Denmark. My advocacy evolves around plastic use. As you know, plastic is one of the biggest obstacles the Earth are facing at the moment and it's polluting our oceans, it's polluting us when we eat microplast and it loses the Earth. So please, eat green, do green, be green. Thank you.
26 years old and I'm proudly representing Germany. My national flower is the blue corn flower, which is used for the healing of various medical conditions such as fever, yeast infection, or menstrual disorders, and is a symbol for inspiration and romance. My advocacy is to reduce our consumer lifestyles, especially when it comes to past fashion and lifestyle farming, because those are the greatest indicators of climate change and lead to several other symptoms of global warming, such as plastic pollution, water pollution, and deforestation. Thank you very much. Como lo hacemos, lo hacemos adaptando a los jóvenes desde los más pequeños hasta los más grandes y fomentando la educación para tener unas generaciones espectaculares. También estamos implementando vedas de no cortar árboles de 10 a 20 años. Muchísimas gracias. Salamajo. years old. My national flower is the tulip. I am advocate of responsible consumerism. I try to reduce used plastic my everyday life and I try to buy local products and services. <coughs> I represent in Hungary.
Coast ladies. Let's give them a round of applause. The second batch of our lovely delegates from the fire group, starting off with Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Miss Earth 2019. Our national flower is the tulip. Tulip is the only flower that could survive in a harsh set climate back in Kazakhstan. So it's very important for our culture, art, and history. Also, tulip has a healing ability, so it's uh, very widely used in uh, dermatology, cosmetology, and medication. My advocacy is about human consciousness. People need to understand that every action in its own sequences. And it's only us, people, who decide on what action to take and to think of the consequences that we are bring to our mother earth. So I'm called Mahal Tita. by preventing, controlling, and reducing them. Thank you.
Manggamang Gabi Filipinos. Good evening. My name is Nikki Pine. I am 21 years old and I'm proudly representing the Netherlands. My national flower is just as my necklace that I'm wearing, the beautiful tulip. It represents a human feeling. But it also helped the inhabitants of the Netherlands survive during the biggest famine in the end of World War II. My advocacy is to educate the youth, because by educating the youth about the environmental problems, but also the solutions, we can finally make and be the change that our Mother Earth needs right now. Salama po. the beauty and uniqueness of my country. It's, it also heals internal and external wounds and cells as medicine for pregnant women. My advocacy revolves around air pollution and this is because air pollution is a major issue that is affecting global warming today and it is as a result of the industrialization of man, the burning of fossil fuels. And I believe that if we plant and nurture trees, then these toxic gases in the atmosphere would be removed. I also believe that we should we should stop using fossil fuels and we should start using renewable energy. Thank you. Seed uh, in medicine uh, to make, uh, for example, morphine. And uh, about my advocacy, since I was a little girl, I have been planting trees. Right now, I have two hectares of my own forest. So my advocacy is to take care of this and stop deforestation and start planting trees. They give us oxygen, and we need the oxygen to live. So trees give us lives. Thank you.
judges to have another look.
in Mabur High. My name is Naz Yawadi. I'm 22 years old and I'm representing the beautiful Rainbow Nation, South Africa. My beautiful national flower is the Protea. It represents change, hope and diversity like my beautiful South African people. My advocacy as Miss Earth South Africa includes people and planet. I advocate through the hashtag Waste Stops With Me, which addresses our ill waste management habits through education programs, cleanup programs, as well as tree planting. Thank you so much. actions for the mother's earth. I have the passion, same as our national flower, you can see over here. My national flower call is Guguma. It has untiring survival power and also the passion. I'm the, also the one of a person that has big passion for my life. I was one of national play players in Korea and now I change my position as army officer who truly cares about our nation for the most. So I like to motivate all the people to take action in this field, nature problems, all the environments we have in the troubles. So I'm gonna stand for Mr. Korea 2019. I'm gonna motivate you guys all together. Thank you. Education. As the famous saying goes, uh, education is the key to success. My flora is the beautiful red hibiscus. It is a symbol of, uh, of joy, peace, and rapid growth for the people of South Sudan. It boosts blood, it cures uh, malaria, and it cleanses blood at the same time. I love you, Filipinos. You know, it took me a while to realize what I wanted to do to this world. And finally, I, I wanted this world to become plastic free. Because a plastic is a problem that belongs to all of our countries and we have to do something about that. So in Spain, I'm doing a campaign where we go to the seas and the last time we took 450 kilograms of waste. So I think the solution is work together as a team to give Mother Earth everything she has given to us. Thank you very much. Salamat po.
beautiful country, land of my Thailand. My national flower is golden sugar tree. It's yellow and elegant. It's the flower of my king. The benefit is you can eat it. It's good to your brain and your sorry, and good to your brain and your body. I want to talk about my advocacy. My advocacy is make Earth great again. In our days, our Earth has destroyed my human action in many ways, causing many problems, such as climate change or forest fire and plastic waste. I want to take this opportunity to promote my advocacy, make Earth great again, and using by five R, and rethink, reduce, reuse, recycle, and respect, and make it, and doing all little routine and to save all Mother Earth for bring all Mother Earth to be great again. Thank you. which is why my advocacy is water conservation. I'm empowering our youth to hashtag save the mermaids and keep our oceans and waterways clean for generations to come. I'm from Venezuela and my national flower is the orchid, is this one. It's an exotic flower that shows the natural beauty of my country. About my advocacy, uh, you know who or what is the, the majority enemy of the environment, of the world? You know, it's not the pollution, it's not the plastic, it's us. Because we are damaged our planet. It's, it's not only for, for the air, it's not only for the planet, it's for us. So we need people to be aware and take care of. And together we can save the planet and also save ourselves. Guys, I am so proud with all of you and with the team DC uh, Board Farm because you are amazing work about the decay um, you are doing uh, with the with the modern air. Thank you so much, Salamapo.
Let's give them a warm round of applause. from the fire group. Coronation at Coke Manila Ocada, Manila, 
at Ocado Manila Live at Fox Live and live stream on Miss Earth Facebook. On October 27, it will be the delayed telecast of, at ABS-CBN Sunday's Best. And once more, we would like to thank again the following for supporting the Miss Earth 2019. Our official hotels in Manila, the Diamond Hotel Philippines, Century Park Hotel Manila, Join Assault Hotel and Suites, our official bus transport, the Viking Car Rentals, our official airport transport, Pacific Blue Transport, our other sponsors, Gandang Riquilier's Chain of Salons, the official makeup artist and hairstylist, Coco Life, Freedom to Live Your Life, the official insurance provider, the Miss Earth Foundation, Kitco Travel and Tours, a special thanks to Mr. Dexter Villamine, the President and CEO of D.D. Bower Farm International Corporation, and of course, the President of Lago de Oro, Mr. Andre Tanjar, for our venue today. Okay, so I think we're taking time in tabulating the scores of the judges. Was it hard to judge our ladies? Very hard. Um, would you like to share how it was? Does anyone would like to share how it was in judging our ladies? I'm sure you're all eager to take more photos of the delegates. So once again, here are the alluring ladies of Miss Earth 2019. So who did you think won the bronze award? Do you have any bets?
is Netherlands. Me. A round of applause for Netherlands. Congratulations. Happy, happy, everybody happy. Oh, turn around, you can see that. 